What's going on, everybody? Captain Robert and crew here for the after show, Baldur's Gate, episode 62. What a wild f***ing ride this was. Yeah, that was. <laughs> Mudcat actually Vorpal sorted himself. He crit so many times. That's true. <laughs> He's just off. The fifth wall. Can I please, can I Can I get some love for the very first swing with Heaven's Edge, critting on my uncle to set him free from the darkness? That was dope. That was dope. That was amazing. That was, that was the swing that I wanted. Like I was very, I was very, very, very trepidatious about throwing any rolls before show. I was, I didn't want to, I didn't want to roll any extra initiatives. Oh. I'm going to throw once. I'm not going to throw an extra dice because I feel it. I need to hold on to every bit of energy I can right now because I need to crit on this fucking guy. Epic. <laughs> Poetic, epic. Helps I love quite it. A lot. My uncle, first swing after you beat the shit out of me. Yeah totally changed the dynamic of the fight you guys were strong all the way through you put them out i was down to like 12 hit points at one point. <laughs> i mean those barons had nasty spells and you were able to keep them at bay those, for the most part oh man those 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 barons are no joke neither was that devourer but devourer was neutered <sighs> neutered compared to what it could do yep. shut down and then using your 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 new eyes looking into the out into the ethereal and seeing holy shit who's on the outside your boys that have your back Ukaida, waith and now chikios who is I'm, here I'm I'm very I was curious to wait. Shocked. Like, like I know he was involved in a lot of things with the guild, but I mean, to see him fighting alongside Ukaida and uh, and Chikios, that's a uh, that's a curious connection. Waith knows the odds. He understands yeah. what Baldur's Gate is up against right now, and it's not. It's fighting for its survival again, and he knows how to mistweave. So he's one of the dudes that can be there. Wade's well, well, seen some shit and he's been been through some shit and he's learned a lot of shit. So he's, you know, it's uh, it's I, I, I expect I would the one the one that shocked me was Chikios because I have had a horrible thoughts in my head of where Chikios is for a long time. And I, I was both like, oh, my God, that does not look good, <laughs> but also happy in the sense of what I thought he was or what I thought he was going through or dealing with versus that. I was like, honestly, I think this is a little better, but not much. <laughs> it's like, but hey, it was still good to see him alive and well. He's alive. Yeah, part. he's alive and well. And has a story to tell. Mm. My favorite part is you got Josiah's captain and Chikios and then just wait this fucking randomly there. <laughs> That's what he said. He's just here. He's just there. Just uh, there's, sorry. there's things that we never got to touch on, uh, you know, so well, it's, I mean, it's interesting. Instance, how does Waith know how to mistweave? Like mistweaving is something that is uh, is is hereditary, like part of my culture. So the fact that he knows how to do that and I didn't teach him. Somebody's got to teach him how to walk in that dream dream well. So so it's do you not remember somewhere. that it was Waith who blew the mist in your face? That sent, you, that. that sent you I, back yeah I, I, he I damn he well knows how to do it but how how does he know oh well do you know that he was I, there oh, man yeah well no, i will say there's a up. common I mean, there's a common denominator in both instances of a of a certain captain father figure that could be a potential hint but I don't know. We'll see, you know, maybe maybe I that mean, story will get told. It's as simple as being a part of the uh the black market and understanding how the fern and folly works and that anybody that wants anything out of the fucking fay they're a broker of. And you haven't There's even topped onto all of this of on the outside the political part of Cesius pulling strings to make this happen. There's the there's a whole layer of Baldur's Gate on top of this that you haven't even got to yet. I'm pulling strings. God, we haven't seen CC since the bit fight. You've, you've been told that he's been in all the promotional shots 
everything uh everything that's been related any of the flyers you've seen Cesius. haven't even got thing. there yet fat cat himself and you heard there's though they are similar two separate voices the voice with the blades is someone different yeah we've got some dark mysterious figure that's working in the shadows literally maybe and then you've got with somebody who's hiding within the light of Lathander, because they're uh, the ones that the no, wall. No, no, uh -uh. that's just it's, Josiah it's... being crazy about the light of Lathander. This is yeah. the pride. This is the this is that this is that ancient shadow you know shadow fell enemy. Yeah, but now what you know without a doubt that whatever city on the other side of Voxturn with the shadow touched wants to come out. And so does your uncle want Vithia to rise. And that was your main connection point tonight. That apparently your uncle has taken interest in this with a convergence of planes. And the thing I was trying to figure out was Vithia city with the uh mother's name <laughs> Vithia. no city state like, Vithia is the city like, state Vithia is the city state yeah and i, I wasn't was gonna like, say anything about your mother or father that's uh, up for you to uh yeah. to create however you want so yeah. i just left it completely open didn't say anything about him that's for your that's for you to create <sighs> man but they stopped the communication and have been trying trying to help desperately from wherever they are oh gosh but the thing is and that's the thing that's crazy to me is i've been to the house and it was sundered and there was no one there or at least i think i've been to the house whatever plane whatever plane that I, was i don't i don't know anymore like i don't i'm like there's there's You've it's seen two different powers greater that are, are working in the shadows and they're manipulating things. And it's like, I'm trying to like figure out what's happening and it's very difficult. But I'm excited for a research episode because your boy's going into the books and he's going to go into the history and he's going to it's going to be a fun episode, Rook. It's going to be a fun episode. P prediction, the book you need doesn't exist in Baldur's Gate. We have to go somewhere else to get it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're headed to Candle Deep. We're going to the nerd. <gasps> oh my God! Can we go to Candle Keep and talk to? Oh, no! Please, please. No! Be smart. Oh, I'm gonna totally recommend that. <laughs> just... They'll have a book fair in Voxdern. Yeah, a... The only place, the only place to find the information you seek, is in Little Canada, <laughs> <laughs> where they've got the hand warm sausages, uh. right? Canadian tuxedos and sausages. That's it. We gotta go talk to our boys from the uh, Blood Moon Festival, the Pawn Shop Boys, or whatever. <laughs> pawn Shop Boys, yeah. You know the guys, the guys, Big again. Al, Big Al, and the Pawn Big Shop Al, Boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, oh. they are alive. <laughs> Although they, I am, I, I am interested to dive into what you were talking about, Josiah, with myth weaving and and some something powerful and historical and you know something i don't that was intriguing to me i, I think that kind of lore could be very interesting so i'm excited to see what what that's all about and what you and or robert or whatever cook up because that's that's pretty interesting mm, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. you don't get radio silence very often no <laughs> It's been laid out. Not a shocker that Waith would be there whatsoever for someone who understands the stakes. Now they are growing and that army is growing. No longer just Yukaida there. Now multiple other people fending off an absolute overwhelming horde of these creatures. And it comes back to the point that you know, and this will be a great conversation when you get back 
with your uncle pal as the memories come back to him what will he retain will he know what happened the moment that his memories were washed from his own mind your first big lead on who's shadow touched and who's not and who's the other voice who is in touch who is in charge of this horde is it ancient has it always been there or is it new it's rook <laughs> it's actually a loon yeah, he's, he's the one in the back pulling the strings Kalima. <laughs> your oh, biggest man. clue so far has been inside the cave and the keeping of the balance and the two different takes between his father's take and Josiah's take and how those two different outcomes of balance versus what Josiah felt was in balance when the light of Lathander overstepped its bounds and started erasing bits and pieces of his culture. Lot to unbox. <laughs> I actually went back and rewatched that episode uh, earlier before we started this. I'm like, I need to know about this fucking sphere. I want everything. And I just. <laughs> and it manifested. <laughs> I'm excited, man. Getting towards the. Uh, getting towards the. Uh, meat and bones of fucking Baldur's Gate, man. I dig it. That'll be it for this week. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.